Hi! Hello, hello. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about making your own website. I have a website currently. I am not loving it. So I decided to really think about what I wanted for my website, what, how to change it to look a little bit more like what I want it to be like. And I will start from scratch and show you how I create a website step by step. It will be a pretty intuitive process and I'm going to talk to you about some of the things I keep in mind when I'm going to be building this site. I would like to say thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring this video. I like change a lot. I'm not very happy with my website at the moment. I used to be and I'm a big like if I just feel stagnant or stale I love to change things up. So um, for me personally I would definitely want to redesign, think about what I want my website to showcase and then make a new site. <laughs> it's not going to be so much a rebrand because I'm not going to change my actual branding, but I want to like update some of my portfolio and some of my work. And I would like to post a lot more photos of myself, myself working on the process, just being more involved with my audience and also showing behind the scenes of my work instead of just feeling pressured to only create beautiful finished pieces of work for every single video or anything that I post as content. I want to have more behind the scenes stuff. I want to be able to create bigger pieces uh, and put more work into them, but also be able to create more content out of them since I kind of am a stalemate of only wanting to spend a couple of hours on a painting because I think that's the only thing I can post from the painting. The final result is the only thing that people will want to see. If any of that makes sense, that would be great for me to hear that you understood what I said. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to walk you through the process. It is up to you whether you choose to do a free or a premium site. I'm going to be choosing a premium site. One of the big differences is that your web URL is not going to have whatever domain you're using at the end of it. If you're serious about your business and you would like your website to be a portfolio where other sponsors, creators, like anybody clients will go to to look at your portfolio, it would be good for you to think of investing a little bit of money into creating a premium, like paying for your domain. So I'm going to create a new site and first off, it'll ask us, what kind of website do you want to create? Um, I could be under business, photography, online store, because I would like to have a store, portfolio and CV. So I might just go under business for now. And you can choose whether you'd like the Wix ADI to create a website for you or to create your own website with the editor. And depending on your skills, how much control you want to have, you can either choose the Wix ADI or to create your own website. But here I am to show you how to create your own website with the editor with a template. You're not like building it from scratch. So no worries there. <laughs> Let's choose a template. So these are the business website templates. So I actually know which website I would like to choose and that is one of the visual arts websites. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, which is this one, the Illustrator, and I'm going to edit this because I really like this template. I think it's simple, clean, something that would work for me. So this is what everything looks like when you first open up the Wix editor. And you can hide, if it is overwhelming for you, you can hide these menus with this little button right up here. You can hide the controls. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take everything that's just part of this preview um, to make you like want to um, like understand the website. I'm going to take all of this out because it's not anything that I'm going to be having on my own website. I'm just going to make this top section just how big I want. Um, my top header to be. I'm going to go to my own image uploads because probably you want to be doing the same thing. I have just imported, uploaded all of the photos that I want to be using for this website and I'm going to first choose my logo, which I'm going to add to the page. I'm going to scale it down a tiny bit and add it up here in the corner. I just want to change the color themes quickly so that I can have the colors that I want in this program as well as the text. I want to make sure that I put in my fonts into Wix so that I can easily grab them. Um, and that's one really cool thing that you can do is upload your own fonts to Wix. I'm going to edit these uh, colors and I want the white to be like this creamy color, creamy white. I also want kind of a lavender shade in here. Kind of brown would be nice. A green, like a foresty green. Could add a really nice touch. 
And lastly, I'm going to add an orangey, like a burnt orange type color. So this is my color theme that I'm going to be using for this website. This might change a little bit depending on what I choose to do. But for my text, I'm going to change these text themes just a tiny bit. I All of these are set to Futura and I don't want to use that for my website. One thing that you can do is you can upload your own fonts into Wix. I've already uploaded one of the fonts I want to be using, which is Audrey. Um, and I really like Audrey Medium. I think that works really well for what I want to be doing. I'm just going to make one of them Audrey bold. And then for body copy, I am choosing, I'm going to choose between Garamond and Courier New, which are two really basic fonts, but I am gonna be a real, I enjoy both of them. So look at world. What I'm going to be doing is going to be double clicking on this. Can I be editing the text and changing it to be heading two, which is Audrey Medium. I do not want it to say Illustrator. I want it to say Illustration and I want it to be all lower caps. You know what you want for your branding. So this is really something that is up to you. But I really like lowercase. I think it looks a little bit more personable. I'm gonna add a little bit more space here for this one header. <laughs> and then I'm also going to be changing this text color. I think a brown would look a little bit better just because the black doesn't work with my theme as well. So that's what we have so far. I think this is a great start. Next, I'm going to be adding a menu. So I do not need all of the pages that um, come like with the preview. So what I'm left with is home projects and info. I'm going to show the home page and I'm going to rename it just to be home lowercase. Projects, I'm going to change to portfolio because I like that more. Info, I'm going to change to about me. And then I'm going to add another page, which is my shop. <laughs> this, I'm not going to be doing in this video, but I will have a shop. I'm going to just want to add new products and work on that a tiny bit more. So I'm just going to hide this page for now, but I will be having a shop and I'm going to be showing you how I do create that shop in a later video. And lastly, I want a support the page that links directly to my Patreon. So I'm going to add a menu right here. So themed menu, customizing the design. I'm going to go to the text, choose the theme, which is just going to be the exact same heading to the text color is going to be the same. All those up, let's see if we would like an animation. Um, I don't know, maybe this float in is cute. I like the glide in more for some reason. Well, who knows, maybe I just won't add that animation at all, but I'm kind of feeling it. What I can do at this point is I can also preview my site. That's what it's going to look like. I was thinking what I want for my homepage. I definitely want a hero image and then I want my Instagram to be right below that. Don't need the homepage to be that complicated. My current website just has basically my portfolio on the front page and I'm not exactly sure if that's necessary. Go to my image uploads and then go to this one specifically. I would like to crop and edit it for this specific, you know, layout that I want. So I'm going to rotate left and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. I think that will look very cool as the first image on my site. So I'm going to save that. I also want it to be something that spans the entire website. This is bugging me just a tiny bit. I'm going to change it to 2021 by Sarah Tubbs. And while I did probably create this with Wix, it's professional to just be like, you know, this is just my site. <laughs> So I'm going to change that type to maybe, let's see if I prefer Garamond. Um, maybe I do. So next for this homepage, I would like to add my Instagram. What I'm gonna do is go to the Wix app market and find the Instagram feed. I'm going to add that to my site. Manage links, connect to my Instagram, there we go. And then customize. I would like, we could do a grid, no slider, 
you could do a collage, which is really fun. That's cool. But I would like to do a grid images for row three and three because that's just like the standard. I like it looking kind of like a, an Instagram. And for my portfolio, I am going to add a gallery, gallery feature. So uh, you can choose between grid, thumbnail, masonry, stacked. I'm not really exactly sure which one I want to be doing. I do like stacked, but a lot of my images are portrait. This slider might be a good idea. So let's just try the slider. I like how they are all portraits. I think that they look really visually stunning together. So I'm not mad about that. So back to the editor. I'm going to go to the about me section. Really like the way that this one is composed. Go to my site files, click on this photo of me, crop and edit it. I love that you can crop and edit in this. So there I am. And what I would like to do is to change all of this. So first off, I'm gonna change it to Sarah Tapas. And I'm going to put in a little bit about myself. I'm gonna change this alignment a bit so it looks cleaner and I'm gonna make it a little bit more narrow. I like that personally. That's cute, okay, cool. I like that. And then we just need to go to the support me page. Almost done, almost done. So the support me page is right here. I'm going to move this guy a tiny bit like so and let's preview. So we're in a home. This is my Instagram. Let's see what happens if I click this. You keep getting more, which is perfect because I have a lot of my Instagram stuff. Like I post mostly on my Instagram. <laughs> Then for my portfolio, you have individual photos. I'm going to go to the about me, which is looking cute. I like it. And then if you click, click support me, you head over to my Patreon, which is really fun. If you would like to support me, this is my plug. <laughs> so next Wix will show you how to connect your domain if you already have a website or you can purchase a domain that is already available. So mine is my name. It's pretty random because it's a childhood nickname and my last name, which is not a very common combo. So I had no problem just in the first place getting my domain and then the second way um, being able to transfer it. There are a ton of little easy steps I'm not going to show you that process just because it was a little bit private and if you need that information in the dns you could definitely steal my website so i don't want that part we're going on with my website and so i will update you when that time comes at the moment i would like it to be as simple as possible because i have a really muddled mind if i don't keep things simple then i'm just like completely lost so at the moment i think this is perfect for my needs you know your needs and then this is going to be just a very simple like process of seeing what I personally need. If this was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'm, I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful for the feedback that I got on my last video. Every single comment was so kind and sweet and supportive and genuine. It really did, um, <coughs> it really did mean a lot to me. And every, like every single comment that I read, um, I showed to somebody like that's close to me right now and I was like look at this this is really cute and um it means a lot to me that you guys can relate and that um you would like me to be more open about things like mental health personal life and navigating <laughs> all my experiences currently I am very happy that you guys care to see that part of my life and I definitely want to share more of it let me know if you have any questions I might make a little bit of a follow-up video for you guys talking about some tips and tricks for Wix. So if you have any questions specifically about Wix, let me know, comment down in the description. I will be looking at all of those and taking them into account for that video. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Hopefully you make a nice, beautiful website. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.